Hey Corona, I'm Mr. Forbes and I'm here to fill your head with brain stuff. Here's the hoping I wash my hands. Welcome to Corona's 90 Second Lessons. I'm here to tell you to keep calm and keep watching. Ever see one of these trendy posters? It seems like everyone has their own version. Even CDS TV's got, gotten in on the action. Here's the funny thing. It's actually a really old poster. Its history began almost 75 years ago with the outbreak of World War II. In 1939, the Ministry of Information, which is basically England's propaganda department, designed three posters with a pleasing font and the crown on top to boost morale in a distressed nation. The first two less popular posters proudly said, your courage, your cheerfulness, your resolution will bring us victory. And freedom is in peril. Defend it with all your might. These two were printed by the HMSO, His Majesty stationary office and displayed in shop windows, subways, and any public place across the country. But the third poster, which has a much more mysterious past, had a very simple message. Keep calm and carry on. It was created in the event that there was an invasion of German troops in the country, which at the time was a very real possibility. But the invasion never happened. Thus, the Keep Calm poster was never actually seen by the public. It's believed that the millions of posters were destroyed at the end of the war in 1945. So, if the public never saw it, how did this poster become so popular? Meet Stuart and Mary Manley, the owners of Barter Books in Allenwick, Northumberland, found a single copy in a pile of dusty old books bought at an auction. He and his wife framed it and hung it behind the register. Customers immediately marveled at the message and the overall composition of the poster. Interest was so great that in 2001 they started selling prints. The poster became incredibly popular the first decade of the 21st century, a decade in which Time Magazine named the decade from hell. It was a decade characterized by the images of terrorism, war, and nuclear proliferation of rogue nations. The public were constantly living in fear again, coming to grips with the new reality of uncertainty. National security became a buzzword in Washington, and those who were promised to protect their families were the ones to be elected. The revival of the poster became the first real icon of the 21st century. Some say it was popular because the poster came with a stamp of the approval directly from the crown, but I believe its popularity is actually drawn from from its minimalistic style and its reassurance to the public that everything will be okay. The message is simple. Keep calm and carry on. Well, that was your lesson in 90 seconds. I'm Mr. Forbes. You can look forward to more lessons like this one from your teachers. Keep tuned in and carry on.